Hello everybody, my name is Suzanne. I'm a freelance illustrator from Hamburg, Germany, and I was selected for the Adobe Creative Residency Community Fund to create an artwork with subtle motion in Adobe Fresco and to show you how Adobe Fresco and its new animation feature work. First, we open up Fresco and create a new document with the dimensions we like. Then I go about sketching. Fresco offers three different types of brushes. Pixel brushes, which work like your normal Photoshop brushes, live brushes that offer amazing watercolor and oil paint effects, and vector brushes. Even though I really love the new vector brushes and they will sure come in handy in the future, for this tutorial I stuck with pixel brushes. First I sketched around with this lovely textured pencil brush until I had a sketch that I was happy with. The idea was to have this character float around in some sort of autumn wonderland with her and the elements around her just being very subtly animated. In Adobe's new animation feature you can animate either frame by frame or you can use motion paths. Let me show you the frame by frame feature first as I used it mostly for this artwork. By selecting the layer I want to animate and tapping on this icon in the lower right corner you open up the animation menu. Here I see the current frame as a thumbnail and can either add a new blank frame or duplicate the current frame to make smaller changes. To make the girl float up and down slightly, I duplicated the first frame, turned on onion skinning to be able to still see the last frame and changed the parts that I wanted to be moving slightly, like her hair. Then I added a frame in between and added the slight up and down movement. There she goes. I also used frame-by-frame -frame animation to rotate elements like this little hedgehog or to light up this pumpkin's eyes. Another way to animate in Fresco is by using motion paths, which are used for example on these puzzle pieces over here. By tapping on the path button, you can simply draw in a motion path for the object to follow. If you tap on effects, you can make a lot of adjustments. You can for example add more puzzle pieces and have them scattered around, or you can change the speed or select whether or not you want the object to align itself with the path. Once I had all the animation done in the sketch layers, I colored the frames in on a different layer. And then you can export your document as a PSD file with all the animation layers inside, or you can export the animation directly as a MP4 video format or as a GIF. Fresco also automatically records all your strokes, so you can also export a time-lapse video of your drawing. It was really fun to try Fresco like this, to experiment with a new animation feature and I'm really looking forward to seeing what everyone will create once this animation feature is public. Thanks to Adobe for this opportunity and I hope this video was helpful to you.